Hi, I'm Carly, and I'm a health coach. Today, we're going to talk about environmental health, the impact our environments have on us, and vice versa. When I say environment, what comes to mind? The Earth, of course, which includes the quality of our air and water, the land we live on, pollution, sustainability, and global warming. But what about our personal environments, like our home or office? and even more personal, our family and social environments. Here at IIN, our mission is improving health through both secondary food, the food we eat, and primary food, everything that nourishes us off our plate. Believe it or not, the choices we make for our health impact our environment, just as our environment influences our personal health. When it comes to our global environment, although the Earth may seem so big, there are so many little things we can do individually and collectively to improve our environment. It starts by making more conscious choices in our diet, as well as our lifestyle. Let's start with secondary food, our diet. One way we can care for ourselves and the planet is by eating seasonally and locally whenever possible. In-season foods tend to be the foods your body craves during particular seasons. For example, during the winter we might crave root vegetables, and during the summer, we might go for more ripe fruits. Eating locally means choosing foods that were grown or raised on farms local to wherever you live. By eating locally, you're decreasing the time in between the food leaving the farm and when it lands on your plate. Not only are you getting more nutrients from the food this way, as nutrients tend to diminish the longer it waits to be eaten, but local foods require less ground transportation to get from the farm to your plate and less ground transportation means less pollution. Shopping at your local farmer's market is a great way to ensure your food didn't have to travel too far to get to you. Another thing to consider is the food we don't eat. How much food waste do we create? In the United States alone, it's estimated that there is more than $160 billion in food waste every year. Just being a more mindful consumer can be a great start in helping you consider how much food to buy for you and your family. You can also find environmentally friendly ways to dispose of any food you don't eat, such as donating it to local food banks and composting whole foods, such as eggshells and fruit peels. As consumers, we buy more than just food, like clothing and beauty products. These impact our environment as well. Is your clothing made to last, or do you find yourself having to buy new clothes several times a year? Do any of your beauty products or cleaning supplies have chemicals in them that are harmful to the environment? And whenever we buy anything, are we taking them home in disposable plastic bags or reusable ones? It's totally okay if not everything in your life is sustainable and reusable, or if you create some waste. The key is to be aware of the elements that impact ourselves and our environments and look for ways to improve one area at a time. Try making one small change. You could buy a reusable bag to carry your purchases in, so you don't have to rely on disposable plastic bags. Or you could look for brands of clothing that are made to last to reduce your waste. There are countless ways to improve the environment as a consumer, and any change you make, no matter how small it may seem, has a great impact on the health of ourselves and our planet. Now let's talk about primary food. Primary food refers to anything that nourishes us off our plate, our career, home life, spirituality, and physical exercise. By looking at these areas, we can improve our personal environments, which can lead to better health. Here's a few ways how. Number one, create a calm, comforting space at home. Think about how you want your home to smell, look, and feel. Decorate with colors that are calming and pleasing to you. Add textures that feel nice when you touch them. Also, try adding in some plants. Even if you aren't an outdoorsy person, as humans, we all need nature to keep us healthy and happy. Plants not only make your home aesthetically pleasing, they smell great and improve the air quality. Maybe even add a splash of color in your home decor to energize you. You can create a similar environment at work, even if you don't have much control over the larger office space. Maybe you can add a plant to your desk or a diffuser with your favorite essential oils. You could also declutter your workspace which increases energy flow and reduces anxiety. Not only will you feel better, your coworkers will also take notice. 
these small tweaks make a big difference in our environments and enhance our mood and overall well-being. Number two, equally as important as your home and office are your social and emotional environments. Community is important, but the quality of your company matters most. Make sure to surround yourself with people who make you feel like the best version of yourself. When it comes to friendships, family, and other social relationships, just as with your home, you should feel comfortable, supported, and energized when engaging with the people in your life. Number three, prioritize your mental health first. Do you need to spend less time around someone who triggers your anxiety? Do you need to say no more often? Do you need to vent and release your frustrations? Mental health is a major component of overall health. It informs the environments within our bodies and can affect our quality of life. Whether it's talking to a therapist, setting healthy boundaries, or taking breaks daily to meditate and release stress, attending to your mental health is going to enhance your personal environment in profound ways. I hope this has been helpful. Remember, taking care of ourselves and improving our personal environments also helps our planet just as taking care of our planet by reducing waste and eating locally helps us be healthier overall. For more tips on environmental health, check out the video description below for helpful links and resources. We'd love to know what actions you're taking, big or small, to improve your own personal environment or the health of the planet. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at the next A Health Coach Explains. Hi, YouTube family. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on a new A Health Coach Explains videos each month. And to learn about becoming a health coach, check out our website in the description below.